Speedy Gonzales. Speed. Speed. Speed was a drug in the mid 60s. Everybody was on speed. And then speed as a concept. for me is linked to two things. Driving. I like driving and I used to like fast cars. And then speed basically overall for me is a notion of that applies to editing a movie. Because I was told when I started as a filmmaker in the late 60s, early 70s, that my films were slow. So at the time, I thought slowness was a virtue. And I tried to make films that were even slower. Basically because I went to film school in, from 67 to 69. It was a little bit of theory and nothing really. It didn't help. You didn't know how to make a movie when you went there. So they didn't, for instance, teach us that you would say cut. So when I made my first film, I did not know about the notion of saying cut, so my shots were almost always as long, long as, as long as one reel of 60 millimeter film, which in case of the 120 meters was 12, 12 minutes, you know. So the, sh the shots all lasted 10, 11, maximum 12 minutes. And that's why my films were so slow because I did not know you could accelerate. And I thought the speed of life was identical with the speed of movies. And only later on, when I made the acquaintance of a young man who pretended to be an editor and pretended to know how to make a film faster by cutting half my scene away, then the notion of speed slowly emerged. And then it became slowly more important to adjust a little bit to the general speed. Films became faster. I think the average cut has doubled, doubled, or tri tri tripled ever since when I started making movies. At the time you had two or three cuts a minute, now you have 20. Or sometimes more. So, and people understand so much faster. They get the essence of a shot like this, and then from then on they slowly get more and more bored because they think they've got it already, why should they continue looking at it? And at the time, of course, continue looking was the virtue of the whole shot that it went on, that you could continue looking. Today, continue looking is a drawback. Nobody wants to continue looking when once you got it. So that's why films get faster and faster. And eventually, just in order to be able to continue, continue making movies, I had to cut faster myself. Until I made the film American Friend, where I tried to beat everybody in their own game and cut it faster than everybody else, which we did. There's a sequence in the train, and we, at the time, my editor and I figured out what the average cut was, and it was every three or four seconds. That was hilariously fast, speedy Gonzalez for 1976.
I think because of the expensive time in commercials, commercials first got sped up and then in response to that films get sped up and in response to that our lives get sped up. I think life imitates art in this case. So all our lives are much faster now. You sometimes see it if you see one of an old film again and you sit there and you wonder how much time people had at the time to consume things so slowly. So it also works the other way around. It, with amazement you realize, or you see old documentaries and the time people take to do things. Last month I was, I was in four weeks, I was of course in Germany, in Austria, in Armenia, in Korea, Japan, United States, Brazil, Italy and Germany again. And that would have made my head spin 30 years ago. And now, it's almost normal. I mean, I have had crazier weeks than that. I'm trying to, for a couple of years already, I'm trying to slow down again. And I find that infinitely more difficult than continue speeding up. Slowing down is a heavy-duty task. I'm, I'm getting a lot of help from my wife because she felt we were living way too fast and she needed to slow down and so she forced me to slow down a bit and every now and then she really steps on the brake and then I follow her. So that helps. I cut... The first thing I completely cut from my life was television. I consciously... We do not have television anymore. That was an important step. I can theoretically still watch soccer because that is still available. I mean, it is still available, but I just don't... I don't watch the news anymore, I don't watch anything on television except soccer. Life, if it's life. So cutting down on television created a lot of space for other things. So that did help both of us a lot to slow down. We just never watch anything. We, when people talk about TV series and whatever incredible series they're just watching night after night, we cannot talk. We, we, we sit there in silence because we don't know the names of the series, we don't know the people in them, we don't know what they're about, we just do not watch television anymore. That was a good thing. We don't have a car anymore. We do everything on bike in Berlin, which made us faster. It didn't slow us down. I'm faster anywhere than everybody in their cars. I thought it was a way to slow us down, but it, the present supplies, the pleasant surprise was we are now the fastest. I think we totally exhausted the subject as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>